The first step in cutting a multicolor vinyl after it's been opened in Illustrator is to go to the File menu, down to Cutting Master 3, and over to Send to Cutting Master 3. While the software is loading, we've got our two colors of vinyl. We've got our black for the base and our yellow for the top. I'm going to go ahead and load the black in the vinyl cutter while that software is loading. This is done like we've always done in the past. Set the roll on the bars in the back such that the vinyl is coming off the back of the roll into the machine. And we'll thread it through. And then we're going to align with the 15 inch roll. We're going to align the left side of the roll with this little seam in the plastic making, making sure that the pinch wheel on the left side is in contact and then we're going to set the width with the right pinch wheel just to make sure that it's also in contact take off some of the slack conserve vinyl and then raise the handle in the back to engage the wheels and one more important step is to take and push some slack down in between the roll and the machine so that when the machine is pulling the vinyl through, it doesn't pull the roll off of the, uh, the rack. Okay, then it's going to ask us, are we on a roll? What, what did we just load? And this is roll two, press enter. We're just going to go ahead and press enter. The cutting head will check the position of the two pinch wheels and then return back to a home position giving us the width. That machine is now ready to go. We'll come back over here and take a look at our uh, cutting software. And over here we've got everything is ready to go. We're going to turn, uh, center this on the bottom, rotate it so that it looks normal. We can double check everything. If you look here, we've got a black outline for what we're going to cut out of black and a yellow outline for what we're going to cut out of yellow. In the software here, we're going to go to the configure cut job window. And in this first uh, section here, apply conditions, we're going to make sure to click by layer and you'll notice that our layer names have come through. What we need to do is add a pause in between the two layers. So I'm going to hold the control key and click on the first layer and hit add pause. That'll pause the cutting process in between the two layers. And black is the first color to go. It always cut from the bottom up. So because black was our base layer, it'll cut that first and then we can switch up to the yellow. If it comes through in kind of a screwy way, you can rearrange these. It doesn't really matter just so long as you know what color is loaded in the machine when you go to press the button. So at this point, with everything ready to go, I can go ahead and hit send, pick the CE5060. Okay, so once that's paused and it's done cutting that color, you can lower the handle. Slide it out so that your registration marks are past the, uh, this well here. And we're going to run the blade right through that, that well in the machine. Set this aside. Unload black. Next is yellow, it says, we're going to load the yellow the same way we did black. Roll 
to press enter here. And then once that's done, Cutting. While that is cutting, we're going to go ahead and weed the excess out of here. to make sure when we get to the top that these registration marks definitely stay on the sheet. Oops. The excess vinyl as always goes on the vinyl ball. marks past that well and done the blade through again. Okay. And we'll do our weeding process again. Again, being very careful to leave the registration marks at the top. Just want to make sure that everything removes appropriately and doesn't stick. This again goes on the final ball. Pop out these little holes here and a couple of letters. And now I've got my two colors ready to go. Next step is to transfer them, starting with my top layer, which in this case is the yellow, my transfer medium. This is no different than a one color job where I'm going to go ahead and apply transfer tape, squeegee just to make sure that we got everything connected to the transfer tape. And one of the keys here is to make sure that you've got enough transfer tape to cover the whole image when it's transferred. Now using just one piece of transfer tape we're going to flip this yellow over Make sure that everything sticks just right. The method that I like to use is to slide the backer sheet down so that just the registration marks are exposed. That protects the rest of the image from getting hit. And then we're going to line these triangles up. 
best of our ability. Stick that down. And then as we roll this back and over, then we can, you can kind of see down here that I'm using a, a pass pattern with my hand to transfer everything onto the back. And that is a finished position to